Welcome to another edition of Theatre Time. Uh, remember we were going to alternate sort of stories and, and other things and sort of bit of technology, bit of history, bit of philosophical thought. Uh, we're going to saturable reactors because that's what I said we talked about after thyristor dimmers, not thyristor resistance dimmers. Thyristor dimmers a couple of episodes time. Saturable reactor came out of the auto transformer that I said we weren't going to talk about. You can still buy auto transformers, not as theatre dimmers, but you know, if you look on eBay and search for Variac, or just search for Variac, you'll find auto transformer type thing. The saturable reactor is slightly interesting, and there is going to be a sort of half sketch, half circuit diagram there. Okay. You see, it looks a bit like a transformer. That's because it is a bit like a transformer. And there's a sort of, well, there isn't a primary winding and a secondary winding. There's a load winding. And there's the other winding that appears to be connected to a battery and a rheostat or potentiometer or voltage divider, whatever you want to call it, marked R. That's because there is. That's a DC power source that's controllable. The other side is AC, as you can see, with L, the load lamp in this case. When you pass AC through it, it chokes itself. It becomes a very high impedance, self-inductance. Mm, right. If you then apply a current through the DC coil, it saturates the core and lowers the impedance. And you can control that. And the current flowing in the in the ac side is directly is yeah directly proportional to the current in the dc side that doesn't mean they're the same it means they're in the same proportion so small dc high ac and up they go and down they come they're not that simple the the, the you know the proper ones are wound so that the ac doesn't is self cancelling it doesn't induce a, an AC current in the DC side of the circuit because that could be quite problematic. And like resistors, they are somewhat load dependent. So when they were in use in theatres all the time, uh, they would have variable taps on the AC side, and the AC coil would have taps at different points so you could adjust the, um, the impedance according to your load. Again, some people said they were portable uh, with a lorry, a uh, forklift truck. The downsides of the saturable reactor are they weighed a ton because uh, they're all iron core. Uh, they were somewhat load dependent and they had a slight habit of retaining the memory of the last state under certain conditions. If you had a nice state up and you went to a snap blackout, the cores would remember that for a while. So you take down the master fader, reset whatever, and click, and it would poof, previous state momentarily until the cores forgot it, which is usually quite quick. It doesn't always happen, only happens under certain circumstances, can be annoying, can be highly entertaining, of course. The big advantage with, with them was they were proper full remote control. They were controlled purely by electricity. They were no moving part dimmers. And they tended not to mind getting hot either. They tended, I mean, if you overload them, they'll catch fire, but they, they, they tended to be quite well behaved. So, that was saturable reactors. Brief introduction. If you want to find out more, there's there's not a great deal on the internet unless you want to go deep into it. There's um, a couple of videos of saturable reactors where people have improvised them using bits of transformer, which is quite interesting. And as far as I know, there are none still alive. Uh, they used to be a set of six locally uh, in the dance studio next to uh, a drama studio down the road from the theatre. It was quite an interesting complex, that one. That was quite local. There were six in there, but I never got to see them. 
I'm just watching bits of fluff floating down from on high. Mm. The next time we're going to look at triode valves, trade name Thyrotron. They were fun because, again, they had disadvantages uh, and the disadvantages there could be quite humorous. So we'll see you all soon.